I'm going to jump in here, guys, because we have our, our first bit of breaking news. We've been able to break on stream for a while. Christian Wood is officially an LA Laker. Oh, great. More propaganda. <laughs> to your See my face. That's how moved I am. <laughs> He's about to get a DMP uh, every single not, game and get his coach not fired. A, not exactly right, the KD so trade news. Listen, live, listen, but, you know. listen. All I'm going to say right now is the LA Lakers, they're going back. The back Fakers? The finals. They're going back to the finals. And you know why? Not because of LeBron. Nah. No, no. They're going because of Anthony Davis and this crazy supporting cast, bro. Rob Palinka, I don't know how you did it. I was I was done with you. I was ready for you to be out of there. The mismanagement was egregious, dubious, diabolical even. The shit this man did to the LA Lakers, name chasing. After you won a championship and getting Russell Westbrook to pair with LeBron and AD and zero floor spacing, it was over. This is just one more signing and one of the craziest bounce backs I have ever seen from a general manager. This might be one of the most craziest. We're talking about the most improved player pool this week for this season. Guess what? I know who mine is. It's Rob Palenka. Wait, wait, wait. I got to stand up for this. The Lakers are not winning a thing until they re, re sign oh Kendrick my Nunn. My God. I need <laughs> Kendrick Nunn on the Lakers roster ASAP. Is no insane. Rocky. I just, I just cooked so hard just for you to just say that. That's insane. You know, I'm kind of in the middle, though, like between what y'all just said, because great offseason. There's just a few moves that I just, I still don't like. One, both the bigs that they signed, first Jackson Hayes was not a fan of that move. Christian Wood does not move me at all. Like respect the Cincinnati I'm, legends, by like, the way. Hey, Cincy legend, Ohio legend, not an NBA legend, bro. So we, we, we got to get that off the table. But th- those, come on, man. You got Anthony Davis. You need to have some bigs that are at least more than a little solid defensively too. And Jackson Hayes in his, what, like four years, in the four or five years in the league, has not shown me enough. He hasn't shown I'll me enough. Probably Vando five minutes. Vando got five minutes easy. Come on. Bro, Jackson Hayes might be the worst. Big, man. Bro, yeah, they, they really needed to jump on McGee before he signed with the Kings. He would have been ideal yes. to bring back. Jackson and there's still Hayes guys back. out there. I mean, like, I would probably prefer Dwight Howard over a Christian Wood at this point. I was like, just no, about to say, no bro. Shit. Taiwan legend on the way back. Why Howard? They just traded Thomas Bryant for basically nothing. Didn't really understand that too much. You know, Thomas Bryant's not a all time great big or anything, or even great big right now. But he's solid. Like he was, and he was solid for them when AD was down. So I don't know. They're gonna try and prop that up, that move up. Doesn't move me at all. Because I got one photo. Of in reality, line. Christian Woods is not gonna be on the floor in any critical playoff games. Hey, I have. And if I he have, is, well, to I'll be fair, that team is so deep, though, that even if he plays good, he's still probably the ninth best guy on the roster. You got to think, though, Gabe. They're deep. Guards, backcourt, pretty deep there. Wings, they got better. They're bigs. Not, they're not really deep at all, at least quality. They got yeah, bodies guess, now, yeah. but it's not quality. And just, we, know, we, know we know Anthony Davis. We know Anthony Davis. You know Anthony Davis. He was great last season when he was on the court, but there's always the risk that he's going to miss games. <laughs> and if he if he has to miss a significant amount of games again this season, I'm not comfortable with running Christian, Christian Wood at the five. Jackson like, Hayes going to be a disaster. Minutes. Jackson Hayes getting minutes is going to be awful. And I will say this. I have said this on record. Jackson Hayes is the worst big man in the entire NBA. And people were hy- hyping him up. Like he was the next coming of Kobe Bryant for this Lakers team just because he signed to the Lakers. Jackson Hayes stinks. And Dwight Howard. All right. Uh, let me let me let me play Wait, devil's Dwight advocate. Let me let me play devil's advocate though, because look at look at the competition for the Lakers, right? We're talking about we're sus on their big depth. Listen, if they're playing Denver, AD is matching Jokic minutes. All right. And when it comes to when Jokic is not on the floor, which is very rare. And we saw, we literally just watched four games 
of AD matching Jokic minutes. Nobody is gonna. Nobody. No. Is. <laughs> so them getting better in other places helps their matchup there. But I'm saying like there ain't really shit you're doing. You know how we say, oh, this center is not good defensively. Jokic is. What what happens when he faces Jokic? It doesn't matter who you are. If you're facing Jokic, you're getting cooked. So them strengthening in the other areas where they might be able to win those matchups, good there. Anyways, looking at other teams, Memphis, I'm not that sold on their big depth. I mean, it's, it's like, not even about it's not even about just straight up matching up. Like, can this guy play post defense? It's just a matter of fact that if Christian Woods on the court, he's a negative no matter who the fuck he's guarding. That motherfucker can be guarding fucking Stephen Adams, negative. I don't give a fuck. He's a negative. <laughs> He can't guard. You think Christian Wood could guard Hayes, Jackson Hayes? Not, probably not. Like to be honest, like Christian Wood's just a terrible defender. And Dev, Devin knows it. Like Devin knows. Like if you're just a negative big defender, you're probably not making any impact on a team that's trying to win a championship. Realistic. He, he probably well, sees we'll see how he feels about the bonus later. And Kat. I probably see some regular season time, especially when they deal with some injuries and they do want a bit more of a scoring punch, but. Yeah, come come down the stretch when they're healthy in the playoffs. It's just no shot. He's not touching that floor. 